Now that you've got a sense of how Bootstrap works, let's try to add some new features to it, like a carousel for your images. If you go to the Getting Started page and scroll down to some of the custom components, you'll see one installation of a custom carousel. And just click on Carousel. You come up here, they don't really have any images in it and don't really worry about the content or text that they have here. Um, but if you go look at the source, right click, View Page Source, you can see um, if you scroll down a whole entire section here that starts with this um, comment, Carousel, and it comes all the way down here to where this div is closing. So I'm going to grab this whole thing. And it's pretty easy to set up a carousel. I'm going to use it in place of the Jumbotron. So I'm going to get rid of my Jumbotron and insert that. And if we take a look at the code, we have several divs. We have the indicators, which are the little dots at the bottom of the screen. And so we'll take a look at those um, in a second. And we have several items. The active item is the first one that's going to show up on the page. And then each item has a container that includes the heading and some text and maybe a button because maybe you want people to be able to click on a button to get to a new part of your site that tells more about the image. If you don't want to have something like that, you can just take that line out and not have a button. Maybe it's just a slideshow that um, tells a story about your pictures. Um, but I do want to say that content is very important. We don't just want a photo album. We want photos to tell a story. So usually you have to have content to go with that. And so in this case, we can see that there are three items, one, two, three. And uh, we'll go ahead and put some images into those three items and then I'll show you how to add additional items. They also have the controllers here on the sides that do the arrows for the left and the right and they use glyph icons for that. So the very most important thing that you have to do with an image slideshow is get your images and get them all exactly the same size. And you have to think about what size you want those images to be in your carousel. Because I want this across the top of my page, I want them to be wide and um, narrow in terms of height. And so I decided I was going to go into Photoshop and I was going to get some of my images from the ACL Festival and crop them to 1400 pixels by 600 pixels. You could do different sizes, but you want to make sure that it spans the size of the um, browser window as most people are looking at it. So I did all those and I put them in my images folder that I have um, within my installation. So I have one, two, three, four, five pictures that I have optimized in Photoshop using Safer Web and I crop them at 1400 pixels by 600 pixels. And uh, then all I have to do now that I have them in the right place, I have them in the images folder, is come in here and find where I want my first image to go and I will put that into the source. So because it's in the images folder, we're going to say images, and I know I have capital cities as one, and uh, you can have the alt text be anything you want, and you can obviously change what the content is here. You should be able to do that. And the second one, I have images, I know I have one for Beck, and we'll say images replacements. These are three bands I saw at ACL Festival. And so there should be corresponding images. There's Capital Cities, Beck, and Replacements. So if I save that and I come back here and uh, refresh my site, now I no longer have the Jumbotron. I have three images in this lovely carousel that we can navigate through with the arrows or with these dots down here at the bottom. You can take a look at that and see that that works nicely. And it only works nicely because we have saved the images at exactly the same size. The carousel also has the auto advance and we'll look at the JavaScript if we need to be able to change the speed of that. But for now, it pretty much functions like it should. You can navigate through it one by one. You can use the indicators below. And if you hover over it with the arrow, it will freeze on that image. Now I have two more images that I want to use, and so it's easy to do that. You can add additional images. You just have to see where the code is that you want to copy. So I happen to know that if I want to get another image item that's just like this one, I want to go down and get the three divs that create the image and the three closing divs. Keep this one here because that's the main container that includes the entire carousel. Um, so I'm going to copy this 
and right within that div, paste another one. And we're just gonna copy that and we're gonna have broken bells. And let's do one more, again, before the um, container closes. And the final image that I have is rosebuds. So we'll save that and refresh. And now I should have capital cities, Beck, replacements, broken bells, and rosebuds. The only thing that's wrong is that I still have three indicators here at the bottom. So I need to go back to the top of the carousel and see how the indicators are added. And they're here, these carousel indicators, and I can see that there's one circle for each one starting with zero. In, in many cases in programming, numbered sequences start with zero instead of with one. So if we just wanna add two more, we can copy this list item here twice and then just change the number here to three and four to accommodate the last two. And I probably should make these line up properly just again for clean coding. And if I come over here and refresh, now we have five circles that somebody can navigate through randomly. They can also navigate sequentially. And that's how easy it is to make a carousel to add to your site.